corporation is defined as a company or a group of people authorized to act as a single entity, legally a person, and recognized as such in law. Now, you can often hear social justice warriors shrieking that corporations are not people. So what does legally a person mean? Well, it's kind of obvious, right? I mean, let's say FedEx goes out and buys a new delivery truck. FedEx has 265 million shares owned by thousands and thousands of real-life human people who decided they like FedEx, so they went out and bought a piece of it. Now, having all of those thousands and thousands of names on one vehicle registration card is going to pretty much fill up the entire truck, and it might also be inconvenient if every paycheck that the FedEx driver receives had to be signed by thousands and thousands and thousands of people who own FedEx. That's why we say the truck is owned by FedEx. That's what legally a person means. Now, the smallest corporations are me. I have an LLC that stands for Limited Liability Company, probably the simplest form of corporation. My corporation has one shareholder, also me. And we have assets totaling literally thousands of dollars. But big or small, all corporations limit an individual's liability. In a nutshell, that means that if BillWhittle.com were to go broke, then creditors could take everything that the business owns, but they could not take everything that I own. Now, why does this matter? Well, if the limited liability wasn't there, we wouldn't have much of anything because no one would provide the upfront money to start a business in the first place. That's because investors are people willing to risk their own money on something new. Having a corporation means if things go south, you could still lose your shirt, but you won't lose the whole farm. People will risk their shirts. Very few people are willing to bet the entire farm, and that's why limited liability allows businesses to get started. Now, this next part might be very difficult for you SJWs to understand, so I'm going to say it very slowly. How many of you are writing Facebook posts condemning corporations, and you're doing it on Apple devices powered by electrical turbines made by General Electric, running on oil or natural gas produced by ExxonMobil, sipping a pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks as you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars loaned to your parents by Morgan Chase so that you could get your degree in Italian Renaissance poetry, and generally enjoy another day not spent coughing up blood and pieces of lung from the tuberculosis that you did not get due to the drugs manufactured by Johnson & Johnson. If you're employed, your paycheck is virtually certain to be coming from a corporation. If you're not employed, then your money comes from parents who are getting paid by a corporation. And if you are 100% on government benefits, then your check is being written by a federal or state agency that gets their money from taxing corporations and also by taxing the individuals that get paid by corporations. Now, Enron, Exxon, Mobil, Apple, all of the rest are publicly owned. That means right this second, you can make a phone call and a very, very friendly man will instantly sell you a piece of FedEx, say in exchange for your 200 bucks and of course a small fee. Drop two Benjamins, buy one share, and you are now a FedEx owner. You greedy, miserable corporate swine. If FedEx gets more successful over time, you can sell that piece for more than you paid for it. This is called making a profit. Of course, the value of that share could also go down as well. That's called a loss. Oh, one more thing. If you think it's unfair that a corporation doesn't pay you more when it's making money, well, it's not unfair. It's not unfair because none of you have to take less money if the corporation is not doing well. You know, something like 94% of all businesses fail before 10 years have gone by. Owning a business is like standing next to a fast-moving river, a river of money. Huge amounts of money come in and huge amounts of money go right back out in the form of rent, electricity, insurance, payroll, and of course, buying all the stuff you need to make what you sell. Being a small business owner is like standing on the river's edge and dipping a small tin cup into that swirling mass of money. Then the government takes about half of what you have in that small tin cup, and anything left is all yours. 19 times out of 20, there's nothing left, and you're out of business. The employees got paid, the government got paid, and you got squat, you corporate fat cat. Now here's the final point. If you start a charity called Save the World from Corporate Greed, then there is a 100% chance that Save the World from Corporate Greed LLC will be a corporation and a legal person as well. So go ahead, do it. Then you can just protest against yourself and you can leave the rest of us alone so that we can get back to work. Oh,